lovely people. It's Loretta with Sparrowhawker Designs. So I'm going to try to do this, um, I'm going to record, oh, I keep hitting the camera. I'm going to try to record this and see if I can actually do like a craft along. Um, so I'm working on the, on a cover for a, a journal. It's going to be a small journal. And I, um, have this lovely image. I just love her. She's actually, I can't remember her name, um, but she's a ballerina from like the 1800s. Anyway, and I put it on this uh, beautiful paper, and sorry about that, that's my husband watering the lawn, <laughs> or watering the garden, if you hear that noise. It makes a really weird noise down here in the basement when he turns the water on. But anyway, so I put it on uh, this really pretty piece of paper. It had uh, pink and maroon kind of flowers with this gold leaf, and the gold leaf, or not gold actually, it's kind of a bronze. And that was the whole reason I picked it was because of that. So this is a piece of um, just, it's mixed media paper, like you'll find it in Hobby Lobby or Joanne or wherever um, in the uh, art section with like the water pa watercolor pads and um, sketchbooks and stuff. Well, this is a mixed media. And I'm really kind of upset <laughs> because it's, um, it's warped. I, I'm like really upset. So, uh, I let me know if you would be interested in see, watching the process for this though uh, um, but anyway so I uh, painted it with a uh, gray let's see if I can find it real quick I painted it with this gray acrylic first that was the first thing I did it's called neutral gray and then uh, I went on it I went through it and I stenciled I don't know if you can see in there but I stenciled all in here and then I um, spritzed it with uh, some Tim Holtz I think this is vintage photo and something else I uh, uh, like a pink there's a pink one because I've got blue blue and um, pink in her bow and her dress is pink so I really wanted to kind of pick up some blue and pink and then uh, I also stamped it and then everything was going fine until I am until I embossed it and when I embossed it it warped it and I have no idea why I mean I don't maybe I don't know how to use a Sizzix machine <laughs> but anyway I didn't want the whole thing embossed because she's actually going to kind of sit over to the side here like that. Um, and I love the torn edges. Um, so that was, it actually, I, I actually tore them on, on purpose to see if it would relieve some of the buckle. Um, and I think it did a little bit, but anyway, so your guess is as good as mine as to whether or not I'm going to be able to get this thing to lay flat and put on the cover of a journal. And the journal's not finished, but I wanted to, I, I kind of like to make the cover first a lot of times because then it inspires me for the, it sort of sets the tone for the inside. Um, so the other thing I had, the reason I wanted this sort of bronze here is because of this birdcage. So the birdcage is just a die cut, um, just started out like a brown cardboard color. And so I gessoed it and then I painted it with this uh, bronze color uh, uh, Liquitex acrylic. And <clears throat> then I took a very small piece of sandpaper and... Um, and I sanded it so you could see a little bit of the white coming through and actually the bird is um, was separate I just sort of put it in <laughs> sort of folded it in there but the, the bird came it separate you could put it in the front or behind or whatever I kind of like him with his beak poking out and then uh, I put a bow on here and some dangly thingies and I think I'm gonna put it on um, some cheesecloth like that and put that there. So I really kind of wanted the um, bronze in this paper to sort of match with the bronze of this birdcage. Um, yeah, 
and then it's going to go down on um, this it's going to go down on this book like kind of like that probably hopefully um, I don't know I might not leave this on here I can't decide I, I think it needs something down here but I don't know what so anyway let's see if it's going to work because <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to lay. And I'm so upset because I really love the color the color that I got and all the texture and everything that I, you know, spent a whole day. Well, not a whole day, but that's what I did yesterday. And then I let it dry and it laid perfectly flat until I ran it through the Sizzix machine. And now it does not. So if any of you know what I did wrong, please put it in the comments below. We will learn from each other. So... I am going to use some techie glue and off of this page and make a different background page, but I just really liked it and so we'll see. Yeah, see I don't think that's gonna work. I really don't. I don't think it's gonna stick, but oh boy am I angry. <laughs> if the camera wasn't rolling I'd be cussing so I don't think it's going to work we'll see yeah see it just it just keeps pulling up it won't and maybe that's because it's embossed in general and not because it's um, warped but anyway well okay then we need to I think we need to make a different piece of paper so I'm going to set this aside and, um, and throw this away. <laughs> I'm so mad. But there you go. There we go. Making mistakes together, people. There we go. Paper that I bought from, from Hobby Lobby. Pretty sure it was Hobby Lobby. And, uh. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's working for me. Um, <laughs> that was one of the reasons I went on ahead and did this off off camera was because um, I my fingers don't do pid, fiddly stuff real um, gracefully, so I didn't want you guys to watch me struggle. But so I went on ahead and did it off of trying to get that through there. Went on ahead and did that off camera, so all right. Okay, so let me see like what size this is. <clears throat> so you you guys can uh, watch how I this is how I measure. That's how I measure, and then I rip it. I don't know if this is in camera, if this is in screen or not. Here comes my doggy. Hi, puppy. How are you? What's going on, huh? What's going on? <clears throat> and then I will go ahead and rip a little bit off this side, just because I just don't like I don't like smooth edges. <laughs> oh, the secrets you learn when you watch people craft. I don't like smooth edges. So then we will see. Oh, that fits. All right. So, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do the, the gray. There goes puppy. Back up the steps. <laughs> I don't know why he does that. I have, like, no idea what he's looking for. He comes down, 
and he inspects everything and then he runs back upstairs <laughs> oh you know what I didn't get a um, piece of paper to put down so that I don't get paint on my mat because I didn't know I was going to be doing this so I hope everybody's doing well and everybody is healthy and happy hang on let me get a piece of paper <clears throat> We are all doing good here. My grandkids are going stir crazy though. They um, really, well, I guess not all of them, but two of them are going stir crazy. <laughs> and is really wanting to, for life to get back to normal, but I think it's gonna be a while, so. But they're funny, I, my, the, the, I have two grandsons the exact same age. They're only two months apart. And the younger one, <clears throat> who is four, told his mother the other day when she was going to go to the grocery store, he told her that he wanted, she asked if there was anything he wanted from the grocery store. And he said, yes, he wanted um, barbecue chips and space travel. So I think based on the space travel answer, I think he, he must be getting, getting pretty, um, pretty uh, star crazy, cabin fever. I'm doing this just because I, I don't really care for the look of the lines. Okay, and I am pretty sure that my camera cut out <laughs> so, while I was working. So, anyway, um, you're going to get to see me do some stenciling now. I'll try to recreate what I did with the last one, only without the embossing. Okay, so this is um, vintage photo, distress oxide, walnut stain. No, it's not vintage photo, it's walnut stain. Because I, I remember I wanted something a little bit darker because of the gray. I wasn't sure if the vintage, how the vintage photo would show up with the gray. These are new stencils I just got at Joanne's. I last time I was in, I did not see these stencils, um, and this time I was in and they had them. So um, I bought uh, bought two different ones. They're and they're uh, I thought they were really good. They were like eight dollars, and there's two of them. Uh, this one plus they're like a two pack. So I actually ended up getting four, I guess total. For eight dollars, I didn't think that was too bad, and then I think they were on sale on top of that. So, yeah. alrighty. So yeah, it's subtle, but you know, I mean, I kind of like I really like subtle. <laughs> so. <laughs> And it's kind of like with um, with the stamps, you know, sometimes it's like by the time you get done adding everything, you don't really even see what it is you've stamped or whatever, but, um, but sometimes you do. And sometimes it's just that little bit sort of peeking out that <clears throat> gives it so much interest, you know. Of course, I'm not putting anything in the center because that's where our lady's going to go. The glue is still wet on her, so I can't really from earlier. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, okay, so then I did some sprays. That's what I did. So this is, I don't know what this is, and I don't they don't carry it anymore. It's, it was Hobby Lobby Tattered Angels. Um... 
Yeah, they don't carry it anymore because believe me, I've looked. Or at least mine don't carry it anymore. So. Oops. <laughs> I got it on my mat. Well, that's all right. <laughs> that's what this piece of paper was supposed to do, was to keep it from getting on the mat. And then vintage photo. Well, I have a fan going too, which I never thought about. It was probably a dumb thing for me to do. And does anybody else, like, I can never spray those things without getting, without getting, uh, getting it all over my fingers. So, okay, so I'm going to dry this, and I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> so, um, I spritzed it a little more down in this corner because I thought it would, that's probably the part that's going to show. So I'm going to add a little bit of this, um, Broken China Distress Oxide. And I'm just going to add a little, a little bit of blue. Just a little. And, you know, it's, with me, I end up tearing away so much on the edges that you know, I don't even know how much this is actually going to remain, but that's, you know, you do it anyway because, because some of it might. <laughs> but I just wanted uh, to lighten it up a little bit with a little bit of blue. Boy, Tim Holtz has like the the corner on this market, doesn't he? Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to give him some competition and give us some more really cool stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. I think that's going to be plenty. Okay, so now I'm going to um, now I'm going to start tearing. <laughs> so, yeah. Is anybody else out there ready for fall? Well, I guess if you're um, in Australia or New Zealand, you're you're ready for spring, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm I'm ready for fall because I don't like hot weather at all. Don't like it at all. Our our weather here actually in the Midwest has been pretty good. It was really really humid last week. But aside from that, we haven't had like triple digit days or, you know, super scorching days. We've just had kind of um, normal, what I would consider normal summer. Like the kind of days I had when I was a kid, you know, where, yeah, it's hot, but it's not like super hot. So, all right, that might be enough. But I hear like other places are just having weird, bizarre weather, so I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> I just love that image of her. She just looks so prim and proper, you know. Like, yeah, I have I have a whole collection of portraits of dancers from the 18th, 1800s. Um, and it's like portraits like that. I mean, they're not, this, that one's colored. Most of them are black and white, but. But anyway, I think they're so cute. It makes you wonder, like, about their lives, you know, like. Did they travel a lot? Did they, you know, how long did they dance? And did they like what they did? I mean, you know. I know if I was a woman in the 1800s, I would be happy if I had some way of making my own income. <laughs> but <clears throat> but you never know. Like if it was something they were forced into, they might not like it. Okay, I think that's gonna work. 
Um, glue this something down a little bit. I like glue sticks, but they don't always, and it's probably me, get to the edge. <laughs> so, all right, I am liking that. And then we will put this here. I'm liking that quite a bit too. Um, I feel like there's something missing. I, I, I don't know what it would be, but <laughs> I feel like there's something missing. I kind of like this. This is why, you know, like the the craft along videos, I'm so envious of the ladies who can just like talk and create at the same time because like, um, I, you know, <laughs> I, can't, I can't seem to do it. I'm, I'm a, I guess so, um, my mind only can handle one thing at a time, <laughs> I guess. like it needs something or maybe maybe we'll do some book pages maybe I'm gonna have a little birdie eh, that seems kind of claustrophobic all right I won't use either one of those then Yeah, the, so many people who have like the craft along videos, they make it look so easy. I have to wonder if they don't already have everything already planned <laughs> before they sit down and uh, start rolling the camera because... Okay, alright, um, I'm going to turn off the camera while I think. Okay, I think I got it now. <laughs> Let me put a little bit of lace down here. So our oven went out. This is not the first time that it has gone out. It, it was like, we've lived here like 15 years. And the oven was probably 10 or 15 years old when we moved in. And you know, we've just never replaced it because it's, you know... <laughs> If I replace something that's working, you know, I mean, so anyway, we, uh, we've just never replaced it, and, um, and now, and so one time it, it quit working, and the guy came out, and he could fix it for just a little bit of something, so we thought, well, you know, might as well do that, and get a couple more years out of it, and then kind of promptly forgot about the fact that we'd already fixed it once and uh yeah <laughs> so yesterday like we turned the oven on and it it never warmed up and so we're like trying to figure out if we should buy a new one or if we should just have somebody come in and fix it either way it's like all this you know like there's a pandemic going on and it's like you have to have a professional hook it up so that means somebody has to come into the house <laughs> so, yeah always seems to work that way I tell you what I don't know what I would do without these little um, paper napkins because they I love them because they don't add any real bulk behind the stuff but yet they add like that little extra something that was missing and yeah I absolutely like if I tried to put an actual doily behind that because it's paper it would just be um, it would be way too bulky so I, I just I love them they're like my go-to for all kinds of stuff which you know is really I mean that's kind of a good thing because it's like you know, we have like our go-to's then um, 
it's kind of your signature, you know, and people can tell it's yours when they see it. But then at the same time, I, I often wonder if that's, if we, if I depend too much on certain things and if I'm keeping myself from, um, learning other techniques because I keep using the same thing over and over. I don't know. Okay, so I'm probably going to tear this little piece off right here. I don't like that sticking out. All right. So, yeah, my husband just... My son's working this evening. He's My son's the only one left at home. Um, my other two have already moved out. But anyway, he's working this evening. And when he works, we tend to just pop something in the oven for dinner <laughs> and so my husband came down and he's like okay so the oven's not working <laughs> what what do you want <laughs> so I think we're actually gonna order some Chinese food we have not done that at all okay and everybody that knows me knows that I don't like white <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on there. It's not that I don't like white. It's just that um, white is... Um, so when you're looking at a quilt block or an artwork or whatever, dark uh, recedes and light comes forward. So if you put a piece, something stark white um, on, your, on your piece, then... Um, that's that's what the eye will see now sometimes if you're trying to m draw your eye to the focal point that's okay I mean of course this is all just my opinion you can do what you want <laughs> so, I'm just telling you why <laughs> why I, I don't really care for now if you're doing something that's all like all white and beiges and that kind of thing then that's different but yeah okay so I like it. Of course, you don't want to know what I was just thinking. I was just sitting here thinking, do I really want that birdcage there? Maybe I should use something else. <laughs> After all this time, sitting here messing with it and painting it and everything else. But yeah, I'm going to go for it. Of course, I may darken up the edges a little bit. I saw I watched a video one time where the the lady was trying not to um, not to ink up her edges because I guess because like what I was just saying, we all you know we become kind of um, dependent on the same things, I guess, um, but. Personally, like I said, I you know I have to I have to ink up my edges. I it doesn't look finished if it's not if it's not inked up for for me anyway. And I, the other thing I like too is um, I like it to look like there's a shadow, and I feel like so that you get a three dimensional thing. Um, and I, I it's hard to do that without. Um, inking up your edges or without uh, using some kind of crayon or something, you know, um, to go around the edges, you know, you, so you don't get that three-dimensional look otherwise. And it's fine if you don't want a three-dimensional look. This is, this is all just your your thing, you do what you want. If you don't want it to look three-dimensional, then it doesn't have to. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to uh, clamp this down and let this let this dry before I can go on and do anything else. So, there you go. I think that's. Um, I think that's that's what I'm gonna do so 
next time you see me it should be on the book with all the added extra touches and uh, I will um, I will talk to you guys later so hopefully this video turned out <laughs> and um, thanks for crafting with me and I hope you make something that you love bye bye